There you are. Welcome. Thanks for coming back. This is number three. Uh, learn to clog. Lesson three. Beginner, basic. However we want to say it. Uh, don't mind the rag or blanket behind me. It's, it's one of the dogs. So, anyways, um, just what we're going to do on the streams is the beginning of each stream, we're just going to do a little recap of the previous lesson because we're only number three in. Uh, I want to make sure everybody's kind of up to speed. So, we're going to touch on the first one very quickly and then we'll spend a minute. Or so on lesson two and then we'll jump right into lesson three today so thanks hey I appreciate everybody being here um, it's fun it's something you can do on your own um, keeps you moving gives you the beat gets you going uh, gets the blood moving keeps you fit um, yeah it's great I, I enjoyed it for numerous years so I want to thank everybody uh, who's watching this <laughs> We do it live on Twitch here. That probably wasn't good because this goes up to YouTube and then, anyways, right now uh, it's live on Twitch. Uh, 12 Eastern Standard Time, it's 12 o'clock on the dot. I'm gonna really try and stick to the time so people can get accustomed to catching it live um, as I do with others on Twitch. So I really wanna try and get the timing down and we're doing twice a week it's free uh there's no cost you don't need to drive you don't need to go into crowds because of the whole we're not even going to mention what's going on right now still so this is a way for you to be at home um wherever you are at work on your mobile phone watching it live you can interact on chat uh, I have the chat window up on my right hand side. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them up and they will show on this screen right here, right here. So other people will be able to see it as well. And then uh, after this, what I do is I take this whole recording and I throw it up to YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure how long they stay on Twitch for. So they will also be on YouTube. And then uh, I just post little highlights over on Twitter. So feel free to watch it where you want. Uh, I, again, I really appreciate you being here. So let's kind of jump into it. Uh, we're going to go back to lesson one. We're going to spend one minute on lesson one. Then we'll spend a minute on lesson two. And then we'll get into today. Today is going to be the triple, the stomp double, and the heel toe basic. So what you'll start to learn is songs that we kind of get into in the future uh, when you start and put things these steps together they will uh there's really nothing too crazy about it um it's just a compilation of steps on how you put them together make your own steps up I, hey that's all good you you want to make a step up uh jump over into uh, YouTube post a comment under there or post a comment up here that you got a step and we'll try and uh, we'll try and put it down on paper so there is a way uh, we used to get what was called a syllabus for a dance and an instructor will have created or choreographed their cinder honey cinder so the instructors will have choreographed a dance or a set of steps to a specific song. And then what they do is they write those out on paper. So there's, there's a, it's almost like reading uh, letters and words on a paper. Uh, but it's just associated with left foot, right foot, heel, toe, step, slide, stomp, whatever it is. So anyways, let's jump into it. Today schoolboy error last time i uh i didn't switch it so we are on the big feet today we got the running shoes on the temperature has dropped significantly and then i'm going to swing don't mind the uh, aggressive moving low budget 
low budget setup. So just bear with me here. Okay, so this is pretty good. Maybe down a little bit more. If you like the way this is, let me know. So from this camera here, where my hand is, you'll be able to see the rear work, rear view. Let me back it up. Beep, beep. So you will see the rear view of me as you would be watching it um, on your phone so you could follow. So if I lead with my right foot from this view right here, you can also see it is my right foot. Uh, this is beneficial sometimes if you become a little messed up in steps. Uh, it is easier just to, it won't be easy to follow this one if you mess up, but it'll be easier to follow this one to kind of get back in the sink. So what we're going to do today, let's start with the basic. And what that was is we're just going to, not flat foot, we're just going to bring our our heel off the ground just slightly using the ball of our foot we're going to tap it going forward one sound tap it coming back step and then on the left foot we're going to use a ball of our foot just to rock step okay so double step rock step on the other foot double step rock step now you will become accustomed to how far back you want to go the further back you go the harder it is going to be going into the next step so if your if your next step is going to be a double step up here and you've done a rock step way back here to keep into the beat sometimes it's going to be like that transition is very big so if you right here right so let's do four basics starting on the right foot and we'll keep it slow five six seven eight double step rock step double step rock step one more okay that's the basics Lesson two, what we did was the double basic. So it was a double step, double step, rock step. This leads you back onto the right foot again, right? So it's kind of one of those wishy-washy steps. So I'll start on the right foot again. I'll show you, I'll show you on the right and I'll show you on the left. So it's double step, double step, rock step. We'll do it on the left. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, double step, rock step. Okay. The other one that we did on lesson two was the fancy double, which was a double step, double step, rock step, rock step. Again, kind of one of those wishy-washy ones that we still end up back on our right foot lead as opposed to changing leads per step. So the fancy double was double step, double step, rock, step, rock, step. Okay, the double basic was double step, double step, rock, step. Fancy double, double step, double step, rock, step. Rock, step. Okay, so hey everybody, let's start with a double basic. Double step, double step, rock step. Start on the right foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, double step, rock step. That's the double basic. Okay, let's do the fancy double. Start on the right foot. Double step, double step, rock step, rock step. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, double step, rock step, rock step. Okay. Right foot lead. Start with the basic. Double step, rock step. Five, six, 
seven, eight. Double step, rock, step. Let's do another one starting on the left lead now. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, rock, step. Let's do a double basic. Right, two doubles, then the rock step. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, double step, rock, step. Then we'll do the fancy double. Two double steps, two rock steps. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, double step, rock, step, rock, step. Awesome. You guys are doing perfect. Today, we're going to do something called a triple, which if you figure this is a basic, and this is a double basic, What do you think the triple's going to be? I know, I know. Don't, don't hate me. This is just the steps. So a triple is a cool thing with a triple is you now change leads. Okay? Just like a basic. A basic, if I start on the right, now my lead is on the left. A triple, if I start on the right, lead has changed. Where the double basic and the fancy double, your leads do not change. So everybody, let's start on the right foot, right foot lead, and we're going to do a triple basic, double step, double step, double step, rock step. Five, six, seven, eight, double step, Double step, double step, rock, step. Hey, since you change the lead, let's start it with our left foot lead. We're going to do another triple basic. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, double step, double step, rock, step. Awesome, right? So here's the thing. Once you get that, Right, this part, okay, that's it. That's pretty much the, the you know, the, the just of it. Then the hard part is just putting all these steps together, but you do it as a, a song that's uh, verbally sung as, I'm not an artist, so I don't know. I know they have a chorus, and then they have um, the first part and a chorus, a second part and a chorus, third part and a chorus. Clogging the exact same way. Exact. So there's a first part and a chorus, second part and a chorus, third part and a chorus. So when you're learning dancing, you learn a chorus. So if that chorus is two basics, and a triple let's just say two basics and a triple that's your course so as long as you can remember two basics and a triple that's your course and it follows the music when they have their course 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 is that the right word i don't know the middle part yeah, I just lost for words there for a second. So you essentially learn a beginning part of the song, a middle part of the song, and an ending part of the song. Then you have your choruses in between. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's that simple. So let's start with this triple again. Right? Three triples and a rock step. We'll start with a right foot. Double step, double step, double step, rock step. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, double step, double step, rock step. Let's do another one starting on our left foot lead. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, double step, double step, rock step. Pretty cool, right? 
what I'm going to do, I am going to post a worksheet with what we are doing. And then on our lesson four is going to be how to read a worksheet. So you can print these off in a PDF and this way you can try to remember them on your own as well. So this one is called a stomp double, okay? So if we start with our left foot or our right foot, I'm gonna start with my left foot. So a stomp double is essentially stomp, right? So my weight's on my left, so now my right foot's gonna do a double step. Left foot's gonna do a double step, then a rock step, right? So this is a stomp. Now, if you want to stomp straight down, or bring your foot out, whatever's comfortable, whatever you feel fun doing, I guess, right? You wanna, uh, maybe not in the front, that wouldn't be too, unless you're moving forward, right? Right, so it's totally up to you. So I may go a little bit out sometimes, that's just the way I've always danced. Um, that's always kind of been my style. My legs have always kind of gone out to the side. So a stomp double, right? So a double basic is, right? So now we're just adding the stomp in the front. Okay, so we're gonna start on our right foot. Everybody throw that stomp down. Ready? Let's throw it down, go. Now let's do a double basic. Double step, double step, rock step. Okay, throw a stomp down with your left foot now. Ready, go. Double step, double step, rock step. Don't beat yourself up if you're not hearing this. If you're not hearing the... That comes with practice. Some people will hear... Right? Or some people may hear... Right? I don't think you're going to get this in one shot. This is years and years of learning where your foot comes in contact with the ground. It's not normal, you've never done it before, so just, just run with it. Okay, so we're gonna start with a stomp double, leaning on the right foot. Stomp, double step, double step, rock step. We'll go directly into another stomp, double step, double step, rock step. All right, so we're stomping on our left, then we're gonna be stomping on our right. Okay, so we're gonna start with the right foot stomp, and we'll keep it slow. Five, six, seven, eight, stomp, double step, double step, rock step, stomp, double step, double step, rock step, okay? So I'm going to do, I don't know, probably five, six, seven of them, eight maybe, and between the two cameras, you'll be able to kind of see where things are, and, uh, Try and pick it up, jump in, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. I will call a couple out, and then I'll be silent on a couple, and then I'll call a couple out. <clears throat> so I'll lead you off calling with the right foot. Ready for the stomp? Five, six, seven, eight. Stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Stomp, double step. Double step, rock step. Stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Oh, 
Awesome. You guys are killing it. Okay. So, let's jump back. We'll learn a new one, and then we'll just kind of go over all these again near the end here. So, basic is a double step rock step. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go toe heel, right? Now, if you had clogs with the here, I'll show you this here. So, let me see this one. So, if this is the bottom of a tap shoe, you would have a solid piece of alloy on there, metal. That's a tap. On clogging, you have the bottom of your shoe, and then you have two pieces of alloy with two rivets in them, and they they can rock back and forth. So it makes a lot of noise, right? Sometimes very irritating. So, and very slippy. We used to duct tape them like crazy. Duct, duct tape like crazy to tone them down, to make them not as slippy. And a lot of people just wore running shoes at that point. And then we had buck cleats, which didn't move as much. So many different styles. So, if you hear a clogging shoe, you're going to hear it very strikingly, like metal smacking each other the whole time. And that's why, because those two cleats will pivot. I'll, I'll bring my shoes on uh, next live stream and I'll show you. Those cleats will bang back and forth. So just by doing, right, you really have to pronounce it to get that sound. If you had cleats on, it'd be just, right? Cause it'd be super loud and annoying, right? You used to wear earplugs sometimes. And then there were so many people dancing, two, 300 people dancing, you couldn't hear yourself think. And then the instructor would have the volume so loud. Oh, you used to walk out of there deaf sometimes. Anyways, let's get back on track here, squirrel. Let's call the heel toe basic. Heel toe, right? Let's just do a bunch of those. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Ready? Are you getting that sound? Unless you're on bare feet. If you're on tile, bare feet, you may be able to hear it. Okay. So this one's called a heel toe, or sorry, a toe heel basic, right? So toe heel, toe heel, double step, rock step, okay? Move forward a little bit here. Actually, move this back just a bit. And you know what I'm gonna do, so it's easier on you guys? I'm gonna put a mark on the floor. Yep, yeah, because that's better. Marker. Try and keep it concentric. I'll try and keep it the same for everyone. Okay. Toe heel, toe heel, double step, rock step. Toe heel, toe heel, double step, rock step. Okay. This brings us on to our other side now. Toe heel, toe heel, double step, rock step. Okay. So let's start it. We'll keep it slow and we'll go through it. Okay, starting on the right foot lead five, six, seven, eight. Toe, heel, toe, heel, double step, rock step. Keep going. Toe, heel, toe, heel, double step, rock step. Keep going. Toe, heel, toe, heel, double step, rock step toe heel toe heel elbow step rock step toe heel toe heel okay 
right? You guys are awesome. I can't see you, but I know you're doing awesome. So everybody give yourself a pat on the back right now. Wherever you're watching from, YouTube world, Twitch world, it's great. I appreciate it. Sometimes when you're doing steps like this, you may feel a little bit like a baby giraffe. Not going to lie. I still do when you're doing things slow. Once you gain a little confidence on memorizing this step and getting that feel, just like riding a bicycle, super hard to ride a bike slow. Once you get it up to speed, they kind of ride themselves, right? So you will find, or I should say, if you're finding yourself a little bit unstable, a little wobbly, kind of like a penguin, then, which is my favorite animal, once you speed it up a little bit, you kind of get a little bit of rhythm and a little bit of flow, and it, and it kind of works, right? So don't worry about that part right now. We're just trying to get the feel of our feet to do something you've never done with them before. So today's lesson was triple, double, or stomp, double, and a toe heel basic. So let's go back to the triple, which was a double step, double step, double step, rock step. And we'll do a bunch of them, right? This is where we do a bunch of them together. And uh, I will call a few. Some people like that. And then I'll be quiet on a few. Some people like that as well. So we'll do a bunch of them. In case you fall out of sequence, you'll be able to watch it kind of get back in, right? I'm going to start on the right foot. We're going to do triples. Double step, double step, double step, rock step, and immediately over to the other side. Okay? Five, six, seven, eight, double step, double step, double step, rock step, double step, double step, double step, rock step. Two more. Awesome. Hey, you guys are doing beautiful on this. Now we're going to do a stomp double. And we're going to start with our right foot. So stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Stomp, double step. Double step, rock step. Okay, we'll lead on our right foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Keep going. Two more. Last one. Awesome. Okay, toe heel basic. Ready? So, toe heel, toe heel, double step, rock step. Toe heel, toe heel. Double step, rock step. Okay, so we'll start with the right foot and we'll go from there. Two toe heels, double step, rock step. Five, six, seven, eight. Toe heel, toe heel, double step, rock step. Toe heel, toe heel, double step, rock step. Okay, this one, the, the way the beats go on this one, 
is a little bit faster this this part instead of very slowing it down right so it should go right just to keep that rhythm going so let's start with a couple triples we'll do a couple stomp doubles then we'll do toe heel basics okay so I'll probably do four six my math was good I keep going in combinations like that but um, I don't know let's do a couple I'll call them out when we're doing a change and I will always change to the new step going on the right foot okay so this is kind of what we're gonna do watch this one so I'm gonna do a triple another triple stomp double Then I'll start again. Triple. Triple. Stomp double. Toe heel, toe heel, double step, box step. Toe heel, toe heel, double step, box step. That's what we're going to do. Don't get scared. You know everything. Okay? We're gonna take it super, super slow. My jeans are a mess there, eh? Well, what's that all about? Oh boy. There you go, that's a little bit more Twitch presentable. It was good for YouTube, but not for Twitch. Okay, so let's jump over to the triples. So we're gonna start on the right foot. Every lead change is gonna be on the right foot. Every new step will start on the right foot. Okay, start with triples. Double step, double step, double step, rock step. Five, six, seven, eight. Double step, double step, double step, rock step. Another one. Stomp double, stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Another one. Toe heels. Basic, toe heels with a basic, triples, double step, double step, double step, rock step, another triple, stomp doubles, stomp double step, double step, rock step, stomp double step, double step, toe heels. Toe heels. Triple. Let's do another one. Triple. Stomp doubles. Stomp double. Toe heel basics. Come on, let's do another triple. Triple. Stomp double. Stomp double. Toe heel basics. Toe heel. Awesome. You guys are killing it. That was brilliant. I know you guys are doing awesome on that one here. All right. So today, oh, we just gone over it. Let's, I'm going to jump back really quick. Basic was this. Right? Double basic. Double basic. Fancy double was another one. Right? Triple. Right? Which is essentially three 
double toes there. Stomp double. Bam! Bam! And then the toe heel basic. Okay. Another fun one I used to do was, uh, that was a bunch of fun ones, but everything is, everything is comprised with that double toe. Right? So we used to do something like this. We used to go, right? And then a heel. Oh, see, I'm going flat foot there, which is bad. Okay. I gotta remember. I'm so used to doing the flat foot style. So I think, I can't remember what this one's called. In front, out, and a basic. Okay. Oh, have a little bit of a stroke in the foot there. That didn't work too good. All right, so we'll do that one next time. I'll get the name of it. I just remember a lot of the steps. I don't remember all of the names. Uh, essentially, when you start learning a song, you don't think about it as a name anymore. It's you, you've you've hammered down that chorus, you've hammered down those sections, and you just you just kind of do it. So let's take home for homework today. This is our homework for today, and I want to see how you guys do on this one. I want you to post it up and. Put it in the YouTube comments. Put it in. I, th I, don't, I think you can do Twitch comments afterwards if you're watching. So today's lesson, which is 003, the triple, stomp, double, and toe heel basic. I want you to do two triples, two stomp doubles, and two toe heel basics. Okay, this is what I want you to do. And I'll switch the cam. I'll do it once, and then I'll switch the camera the other way, and you can see it the other way. So this is your this is your homework today. Two triple basics, two stomp doubles, two heel toe basics. My stomp double. Bam. Another stomp double. And my toe heel basics. Okay, let me switch these cameras around. And then. All right. You got four feet. I can't teach you that. Okay, come over here, babe. Yeah, girl. Good girl. You can watch that from there. Yes. Okay, so I'll show you this way. So I'm going to do triples, stomp doubles, and toe heel basics. Do it again. Stomp peels. Awesome. You guys are killing it. Killing it, killing it. So thank you very much for hanging around on this one. I appreciate it. I know this is a, a, a should probably have another camera up there. I don't know, low budget films. Low budget, low budget. So like I said, thank you for uh, sticking around watching this. It's awesome you guys are here. Um, just to be able to share some of my uh, past uh, talent that I was taught and learned to love. I didn't learn to love it. I loved it right from the beginning, but um, 
I did kind of cruise around on YouTube. Uh, like I said, this has been a thought, a little venture, something that I wanted to try and do. Um, they always say to, there's a million gamers out there. There's a million of this. There's a, everything is saturated with so many people doing the same thing. I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit niche, and I've always had this passion in me for clogging. Um, being that I taught it uh, for years, I was part of several groups for years, uh, competition groups. Um, we competed all over, so it was it was awesome. So I kind of put a bunch of these little pieces of the puzzle together and sharing with you. Um, like I said, language, you don't have to be you don't have to understand me right you can visually see and hear uh, the sounds that we're doing and you can associate a word or something with that step so uh multicultural sure um if you're of another nation and you want to put uh in the comments what you would call the toe and the heel Put it down there. I'll, I'll throw it in for you. That's cool. Uh, we can we can make it fun. We can make it however we want. Um, I'm just really proud and excited to be able to share this with you. Being, I know this is going to kind of go into a story now, but being from my side, what I grew up with and what we had to go to to learn and to be able uh, to pick it up in a manner level with your instructor or your teacher. I always felt terrible the fact um, myself and there was a couple others that could pick it up in instantly and you would glance around and see people struggling and struggling with the basic parts of it. And the unfortunate part that really kind of hurt me was they're put into a situation where they're they're left behind. It it's a sink or swim, which is an unfortunate part. Um, you know, they've paid money, they've taken time out of their day to drive, to go to a club, and to be uh to become invisible. Um really really struggled with me as a child growing up noticing this and that's what led me to to teach younger people uh we little ones so they're they're sponges right let's be honest but this me doing it like this gives you the ability to not have to follow my my speed um if you're having trouble on zero zero one video zero zero one and i've already published zero zero two three four five it's not good, too far ahead of ourselves um you can stay on one right it, it doesn't cost you anything if you have five minutes throughout the day and you just kind of want to zone out from whatever's going on you're like oh yeah kind of have five minutes now to to go ahead and, and you know try and nail down that basic step then you know what what i'll do is i'll put um i don't know how i'm going to structure the youtube side right now um but i'm just posting them up as uh learn to clog 001 002 003 um if you want to mark them off on your whiteboard your calendar your post-it notes uh your Blackberry, your Duotang, your Bristol board, <laughs> Bristol, Bristol board. Uh, however you want to uh, keep track of where you are um, may be beneficial to you. And then as you feel comfortable with each lesson, you can now progress to the, obviously, to the next level. Uh, again, no cost. Um, if you like it and you want to be alerted to new videos make sure you hit subscribe it's follow on twitch a little heart and the subscribe i'm gonna sneeze now oh. 
Oh yeah, here it comes. <laughs> Excuse me, please. So it's the it's the follow on Twitch and the subscribe on YouTube. You want to give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, that would be awesome. Excuse me. That would be awesome. It would let me know kind of where you are. Uh, put comments in there. Uh, I will read the comments. I, I promise you. Um, I will read the comments and I will reply. And if there's something that uh, you want to see a little bit different or you have a suggestion, post it in there. I'll definitely uh, definitely read them and uh, reply to you. So, again, thank you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. And feel good about yourself. This This was awesome. Do your homework, follow the lesson, and uh, let me know how you did next time. Thanks, guys. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day and a wonderful weekend. Um, it is Thursday, so I'll leave that for tomorrow. Uh, have a great weekend after tomorrow. So thanks for sticking around, and see you on the next one. Zero, zero, four.